Well, that was Marco Rubio offering what some are calling an unofficial endorsement of Senator Ted Cruz. Uh, the GOP deal making obviously seriously underway. Uh, we also had Don, uh, Donald Trump uh, mentioned in the USA Today interview that he was considering Rubio, Kasich, even Scott Walker's potential vice presidential candidates. Joining me now, Lisa Booth, Fred Barnes, and Caitlin, Caitlin Huey Burns. Uh, let me go to you, Fred. I mean, obviously, you would consider those guys, if possible, they bring some pretty big states with them, particularly to bring swing states. But I, mm -hmm. find, it, I find it amazing uh, that folks who lost a long time ago still playing a significant role in the process. No, I'm not surprised at that. You know, look, somebody's going to be the vice presidential running mate to whoever the Republican nominee. And Marco Rubio has something that could help him get that if he wants it. And that's uh, this great asset he has of 171 delegates. Now, he acted in that interview with Mark Levin that, well, they'll just vote for whoever they want, some conservative. But uh, he will have great sway with them. Uh, when they're released, uh, uh, he can influence uh, what they're going to do, and, and, and I suspect he will. And there's no reason for him to endorse a candidate now and throw away his delegates. They'll be a lot more valuable come uh, convention time. Would it be valuable enough that someone offers him a VP slot? Yes, of course they'll be valuable, depending, uh, particularly Donald Trump. Donald Trump, if he got the 171 delegates that uh, Rubio has, for instance, he's probably, uh, that would probably be close enough to, for him to get uh, the nomination uh, even on the first ballot. I mean, maybe right. uh, it, 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 if that's possible, if Rubio can release them so they could vote for Trump. I guess, Lisa, then bygones will be bygones. Well, I don't know. I mean, look, politics makes for some strange bedfellows here, but it might be a little too strange for Marco Rubio. I mean, it does seem like he's giving Ted Cruz the nod, maybe not an official endorsement, but he's saying he's a conservative, he's a good guy. But what's interesting is he's actually taken a somewhat unprecedented or very unusual step in writing a lot of the state parties where he does have delegates, asking them to retain and stay bound to him, at least on the first ballot. And his spokesperson is actually quoted as saying that this is going to give voters a chance to stop Trump. So I think we're saying we also saw in Arkansas, I believe, where uh, Ted Cruz supporters and Marco Rubio supporters we're working together to try to trump Trump right. with the delegates heading to the convention. So I think there's been enough signals indicating the fact that Marco Rubio might not be on board uh, with, you know, being a part of Team Trump. Well, I tell you what, uh, in the meantime, though, Caitlin, uh, Kasich is showing some overtures. He worked with Donald Trump in Michigan to deny Ted Cruz. Uh, and all along, there's been suspicion that he would be certainly willing to be a vice president uh, under with Donald Trump. Right, and he's continuing to deny that that's a possibility. And look, he could prevent Trump from winning all of New York's delegates next week. He's actively campaigning in New York, actively campaigning in and he's not particular. I mean, honestly, he's not campaigning to win. So right, why exactly. Wouldn't he, campaign he wants for? to peel away delegates. He wants to participate in this stop Trump effort. Uh, is and it prevent stop Trump or is it Kasich VP campaign? Is that what we're really looking at? Well, at the end, when we before we get to the convention, if Donald Trump is short of the necessary delegates, he'll still need to. No matter how, how short or close or far away he is, he'll need to woo delegates. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to someone like Kasich and says, hey, let's band together, I'll make you a VP. A lot Whether of people, he accepts yeah, that is A lot, a lot of people thought that uh, Ronald Reagan and, and Bush were odd, uh, strange bedfellows, but it worked.